What is up, YouTube? It's Metatronics. There's been some new info released about both Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 3, so I figured I would give you guys an update. Uh, so for Modern Warfare 3, there's going to be some new maps released uh, for the Elite members. We have uh, some new multiplayer maps and some Spec Ops stuff, which is pretty awesome. So for the, the multiplayer maps, we've got Boardwalk, Parish, and Gulch. So Boardwalk looks like it's a mix between the Carnival map from Black Ops and I believe it was Piazza from Modern Warfare 2. It looks like there's going to be some inside of buildings as well as some games and stuff because I was just watching the trailer and it looks like there's definitely some Carnival games in there that you can actually play which is kind of fun. I'm sure there'll be a lot of goofing around on the map uh, in solo play just to see what all you can do. Um, Parish Parish looks kind of interesting. Um, it's like a, it almost looks like a uh, a town in New Orleans or Louisiana or something. It's kind of got like a uh, a French feel to it. Um, and then Gulch is a big mining town. It looks like there's going to be some nice sniping spots and uh, some kind of mid to long range sight lines. So uh, that'll be that'll be fun. It's always nice to have some longer ranged maps. I I, I kind of like to, to mix it up. I like the smaller maps where you can whip out shotguns and just go to town. And then I like the, the longer ranged maps where you got to, you know, have good aim. That's nice. Um, now for the spec op stuff, you've got chaos mode. Um, and it's a survival. And it's a running gun type of endless swarm horde mode kind of thing for for spec ops which is great I don't know why they haven't done that before it seems like that's kind of a no-brainer I mean because zombies has done so well why wouldn't Infinity War do something that's kinda got the whole I don't know uh, horde feel to it so that sounds like fun chaos mode and then light them up is gonna be taking place in a castle it says Makarov's castle and we're going to be in some helicopters, some ospreys, and doing a lot of like aerial stuff and on the ground stuff. And that sounds like a lot of fun. I am looking forward to trying that out. Now, getting on to the Black Ops 2 news, there is some interesting things that they've just put up uh, regarding the single player storyline. And this is something that Call of Duty has not done at all yet. Uh, somebody on Twitter asked the developers, can you change the storyline by the choices you make in Black Ops 2? And Treyarch says, yes. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> so we have like this kind of RPG, choose your own adventure type story that's happening. And that there are going to be, uh, it doesn't look like the whole single player mode is going to do that. But it's definitely, it says that there will be levels in the Strike Force levels. They're going to be non-linear sandbox style. Uh, and so that is pretty darn cool. Um, I don't know about you guys, but that sounds like a lot of fun where you can make your own decisions and, and you know change the storyline according to that. That is something that no Call of Duty has done as far as I know. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Now, it's saying here that, uh, that you'll be able to take control, uh, assuming control of any member or robot or drone from your squad. So now I'm a little, <laughs> I'm a little interested there. When they say robot, are are we having like full on robotic people? Are we just talking like the robots, like uh, the assault drone or whatever that sort of thing? That's that's interesting to me because drone to me sounds like a machine that you can, I don't know, move around the map uh, that does your bidding or whatever. Whereas robot sounds like it's more of an autonomous. I don't know, humanoid-like thing. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. Um, but So that's very interesting. And so uh, it's saying that you can uh, set waypoints and issue commands. So that's, that's also kind of cool. I guess they're going to be doing uh, you know, a whole AI team that you're playing with. Um, and that is something else that's new to Call of Duty as well. Um, well, guys, that's all I got for today. I hope you enjoyed. Give it a like, subscribe, add it to your favorites, let your friends know about it. Uh, tell them that you heard it first from Metatronics. And I will have links to the different articles and videos and whatever else I'm referencing in the video uh, in the description. So thanks guys, I'll see you next time.